Welcome back for another video. In this one, we're going to take a look at my NES collection. <coughs> um, so let's get into it. I also have some boxed games. <coughs> so here is Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Cartridge here, two games in one cart. Three hole version for those of you that want to know. Not sure if this is an original or not. I believe it is. Just the fact that it's kind of worn. Also have several of these rental cases, including a, a blue one, a bunch of white ones. A lot of those are stored away. But uh, Excite Bike. All these are just excellent games, great games all around. I can't complain about a single one. RC Pro Am. A uh, very common game. The sequel is very hard to find, but I do have that uh, uh, ROM on a flash cart, as well as this one. Pretty much all these games. Um, so, move all these over. Spy Hunter in a Global Game Gear NES sleeve, which these are now unavailable. I bought these to try them out, and they actually turned out to be pretty good. And it's a shame this company uh, went out of business because so they have they have very, they had really good products. But yeah, Spy Hunter, great uh, arcade game. This is a great version of that game by Sunsoft. Uh, can't complain. This is also on a couple of Midway collections for modern or more modern uh, systems. <clears throat> but yeah, I really enjoy this game. I played it a lot in the past. Just haven't really hooked up the old NES lately to actually play it. Uh, but we'll be doing that again soon. Since I have some more time off for work. A Duck Hunt manual, which leads me to believe I have a copy of Duck Hunt around here somewhere. Uh, can't quite remember why. Or, sorry, where. Because I don't I have so much stuff. Beat up copy of Rad Racer. You know, I got these last couple of NES games on the cheap. Um, this is one of them. Some time ago. Got this one in a garage sale a lot. Uh, Adventures of Lolo by Hal America. Played a little bit of it on this cartridge and on Flashcart. And I have these NES sleeves. Uh, some of This is like one of the last versions of the NES sleeve they put out. And I'll show a different one here in a minute. Uh, I believe this is the same one. Yeah. Probably the ones they put out in 93. Battletoads, what a great side-scrolling game, very uh, varied with the stages and what you have to do, going down a stage, going across from left to right on a speeder bike, and, or you're on foot, or you're throwing uh, objects at the uh, enemy that's in front of the, uh, in front of you, very challenging game, but it's still very fun, uh, yeah, that one was kind of pricey when I got it. Super Mario Brothers 3, what an excellent game. Um, this game would have benefited with from a um, save system, which they did implement in the Game Boy Advance version of this game, which I do own. And I'm pretty sure my game still saves, I think. But yeah, what a great one. Uh, take these out of these sleeves. Oh, I have two copies, actually three. Um, Legend of Zelda Gold Card Edition. There's also a gray. I've never seen it myself, but I hear the gray copies are uh, more rare than the uh, uh, what you call it than the uh, than these versions. You can tell it's real because it has the stamp on the back, which says twenty. Apparently, these maybe these were bootlegged. I'm not sure. Back in the day. Uh, Got this from a game shop near me that's no longer uh, around this immediate area. Uh, this does have the save function. I believe it still works last time I tried it, but that was years ago. Got this from the same shop. Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. What an excellent game. Pretty sure this has the save in it too. It's uh, save functionality in it too, save battery. Because uh, it does feel heavy like the other. This also has the number stamped into the back, which denotes that it is, uh, in fact, real. Uh, an official Nintendo game, not a bootleg. Another copy of Super Mario, um, yeah, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, 
interesting the label variations are different on each one I have. Um, but yeah, this one works. There's also a third game they threw in here. Uh, of course, that's not on this cartridge. Um, and I have gotten that to work on my retro US, uh, sorry, retro USB AVS system, uh, which is really cool little system, I must say. A few more. So here's the sleeve that the game uh, was in or came in. Another copy of Super Mario 3. Uh, this one's a little bit more damaged. Um, trying to feel for a save battery, but I don't think these have. I've uh, had that. All these are three screw, I believe. But yeah, I've already talked about this one. So just another copy. Picked them up when I saw them. And then my local game shop actually had a third third copy hmm. Hmm. um sorry RBI baseball tension tengen or tension uh, version I believe there is a an official version this is the only tengen game I have uh don't see myself picking up anymore but this is a great game also I have Super Mario Brothers 3 boxed hang on one second excuse the uh Leaving the camera view. I don't have that out at all. I'll just show it in an odds and ends video for you guys. Um, now to some hacks, and I'll get into the uh, box games. The Legend of Zelda hack. This is Zelda Outlands. What a great, great version or hack. I haven't played much of it, but it seems pretty tough. Uh, and these are. These two hacks are made by the Bishop Brothers, which they are no longer in business uh, as well, unfortunately. But, you know, they put out high-quality stuff. Like maybe Nintendo did a cease and desist on them, or they just decided to stop doing what they're doing. Um, yeah, I'll just do an odds and ends video of stuff I didn't show in this video, and maybe just all the stuff that I just... I don't know. <laughs> but here's Metroid. This has the map, and I believe it also has save functionality. Uh, it does feel very heavy. Uh, so yeah, that's great. And this did work last time I used it, which may have been like three or four years ago. I haven't played much of this one. But yeah, there's the back. That's what their cartridges look like. They put out uh, Mr. Gimmick on like a green cartridge, I believe, or something else. Um, I will be showing more of my hacks that will be in a separate video as well, and these will be shown again. Um, near mint copy of Kirby's Adventure on NES. I'll just show the box because I don't want to open it. I've shown it before. Comes with the sleeve and everything, you know, Nintendo sleeve and maybe a poster or something. It is as complete as can get, I believe. But yeah, very minty box or minty like box. Revision A box. Yeah, love it. Gotta love it. The Legend of Zelda, again complete, comes with the manual, and I believe the map is in there, or the map uh, is separate, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, what an excellent game, love it, gonna get back into it uh, here pretty soon, this game is also available on the Switch, uh, majority of these are uh, the first uh, party titles anyways, you know, Metroids and Zeldas and Mario's and Kirby's, <clears throat> I was so glad to find this at the price that I did. Yeah, it's, the box is a little beat up, but, you know, can't beat it for a low price. And the last one. Super Mario Brothers Boxed. Uh, Black Label Edition. It's pretty worn, but, hey, again, got it for a good price. <clears throat> and there's the official Nintendo Seal of Quality. Oh, this has the tab that was never pulled up. And actually used in the store, which is really cool. Uh, show the side. But yeah, that is the NES collection, guys. I do have more hacks. And again, I'll just show those in a different video. So thank you very much for watching.